Bonjour, Monsieur, Bonjour, Madame, Je suis Professeur Anurag, Je suis Professeur de Surgery. Je vous remercie de votre visite à Ames. I will present my talk uh, very briefly because uh, we had heard a great detail of what is going on in the field of medicine in terms of new technological advances. So uh, because I'm a surgeon, I will focus my talk only on surgical innovations um, being uh, contributed with the help of uh, modern technology. <coughs> First and foremost comes the arena of laser uh, syn surgery. And then we can talk about robots because the robots are now coming in a big way in almost all fields of surgery. <clears throat> and then we have the area of uh, image guided surgery, fluorescence guided surgery and we are doing some work here at All India Institute of Medical Sciences with these technologies. And we are now using modern energy devices for dissection, cutting and vessel sealing in different surgical procedures. So <clears throat> um, without wasting your time here, uh, we go to the lasers in surgery. Um, lasers have, uh, in surgery have been used in uh, ENT, oral surgery, head and neck surgery, breast surgery, gynecological surgery, and uh, they have been found to reduce the amount of inflammation, pain, and healing time. And this is very interesting, and the healing is with minimal of a scarring. And therefore, lasers are often used, uh, even in ophthalmic surgery, eye surgery, lasers are being used. They have a very precise, focused area of dissection and uh, sealing of the vessels. So they not only provide a clear dissection, because they can be focused to a very small area, but uh, they also provide almost bloodless surgery, because as you keep cutting the tissues, they coagulate the blood vessels and seal the blood vessels. And uh, the healing occurs with minimal of pain, minimal of swelling, and minimal of scarring. Next comes the arena of robots. And we have heard a great deal of what robots can do uh, in the field of medicine, not only in uh, operations, but also in teaching, as uh, my previous speaker mentioned. So robots can be used in three different forms either tele-robotics, where one performs the operation while sitting inside the operation theater using the tele um, Da Vinci model of uh, the robot, using laparoscopes for various abdominal or thoracic surgery or even um, prosthetic surgery. It, it is certainly established in the field of prosthetic surgery, uh, pelvic surgery, and in depth thoracic surgery because robots allow the surgeon to move in 360 degree more than a surgeon's hand could move. And second is telementoring, where a surgeon is located at a place remote from the site of where the actual operation is being done by another person. And the surgeon from a remote area is mentoring the uh, surgeon locally. And third is teleproctoring, which is very similar to telementoring from a remote place. And these are some of the pictures demonstrating the various robotic tools which are being used. At All India Institute of Medical Sciences, a robotic surgery is being performed for nearly 10 years and over. In, uh, started in cardiology and cardiac surgery where cardiac bypass, coronary artery bypass was carried out initially. And now urologists, gynecologists, ENT surgeons, and even thoracic surgeons are using robotic surgery. Next comes the area of image-guided surgery. Image-guided surgery could uh, be performed either in the form of image-guided biopsy of the lesion located deeply or actual image-guided image removal of a mass or a tumor. So this is an example of <coughs> a deeply located lesion, say, in the breast or some other parts of the body. So this is a small tumor in the breast which is not palpable. So how will surgeon remove it? Or how will um, radiologist biopsy it? So we image it on the screen, either using mammogram or ultrasound, and then insert a needle to take a biopsy. So that is image-guided biopsy. And we can then place either a wire or a steel clip to localize the lesion 
and then patient is shifted to perform a wire guided operation. So fluorescence guided surgery is another new field where we inject some special dye called fluorophore which is then excited by some light uh, and uh, like uh, we have some lights like uh, fluorescein is a dye which is excited by blue light and when you see observe the fluorescein injected tissue by blue light you will see something like this so we have we have been doing some work in this area so this is a lymph node which is identified by using fluorescein and then the stimulated by blue light and you can now demonstrate the lymph nodes which contain the tumor cells and our uh, this is the area of intense research in our department uh, identifying the sentinel nodes which contain tumor cells by this fluorescein guided image guided surgery so this is another example we have carried out some study in this area in breast cancer and uh, it's a joint collaborative work between tata memorial hospital which is a very famous prestigious cancer hospital in bombay city of bombay and joint work between all india institute uh, just to tell you something about what other areas where implants and modern technology has entered. Previously, patients with breast cancer used to go home with a scar like this. They used to lose their breast by operation called mastectomy. Now they go home with a picture like this where we have preserved the lady's organ of uh, feminine image. And you can see these ladies where we have removed the tumor and they have gone home with an implant with a breast which looks exactly similar to what they had on the normal side. So we can do a skin sparing mastectomy thanks to this modern technology which has created silicon breast implants and these ladies go home with a normal looking breast and they have almost cure of cancer with the normal appearance of the breast. So this is some of the advantage of uh, implant breast surgery. Another area of uh, uh, modern technology helping and facilitating the surgical field is uh, various new energy devices which help in tissue dissection and at the same time sealing the blood vessel so that the, the blood field, is, uh, the operative field is almost bloodless. So two types of devices are used in this area. One is based on high uh, vibration ultrasonic instruments called ultrasonic scissors and another is a bipolar device called Ligasure. So this is an example of Ligasure which is a high resolution uh, bipolar device, electric diathermy with a very precise sealing of the blood vessels up to 7 millimeter in diameter. So we can perform surgery in an almost bloodless manner without the need of ligating the blood vessels up to 7 millimeter in diameter. Other instrument is called the ultrasonic uh, scissors where we use high frequency ultrasound uh, vibrating. This instrument vibrates at a speed of 55,000 hertz per second and at such high speed the cytoplasm of the tissues evaporates and it also allows the sealing of the blood vessels. So this is some of the example of uh, uh, different technologies which have facilitated the surgical operations and helped the patient uh, go home with the near normal uh, organs and appearance. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.